Just so happens today, some aldermen argued the National Guard needs to be brought in to control the violence and some of the looting we've seen here in Chicago. Some aldermen calling for the extra help during a special city council meeting. Mayor Lori Lightfoot, she disagrees. WGN's Julian Cruz is here now with more on what turned into a fairly contentious meeting. Yeah, Ben, a very unusual meeting and Lori Lightfoot getting some pushback from city council this afternoon in a highly unusual parliamentary maneuver. A small group of city aldermen forcing today's special city council meeting, but their effort to bring about a vote on bringing the National Guard to Chicago, for now at least, falling short. So there's no debate on the motion? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. This is not Alder a dictatorship, Madam President. This is a democracy, and I would like to speak on the motion. Alderman Anthony Beal among a group of four Chicago aldermen forcing today's special meeting of the city council. The first wave of looting, 300 National Guards were called in to protect downtown. Well, my community wants to be protected as well. We are in a state of emergency in the city of Chicago. We have been three months since the rioting and looting that took place at the end of May, the beginning of June, when questions were first asked, what's the plan? Lopez among those in favor of declaring Chicago to be in a state of emergency due to all of the looting and civic unrest, a declaration that could open the door to Illinois Governor J.B. Pritzker ordering in reinforcements. But the issue of National Guard or federal troops in Chicago, a hot button issue for many, including Mayor Lori Lightfoot. What we do not need in this time is to mimic the chaos and rancor that we see at the federal government. Our residents want us to come together, to have robust debate, and to solve problems that are top of mind for them. A month ago, President Donald Trump ordering federal agents to American cities, including Chicago, despite the resistance of municipal leaders, Mr. Trump campaigning on a law and order platform. You may remember Lightfoot pushing back hard on the notion of federal troops or the U.S. military patrolling Chicago streets. Nobody wants the National Guards patrolling. But Beal and others falling short in their bid for a vote. The city council voting 30 to 17 to send the contentious matter to committee. Lightfoot earlier this week accusing those pushing for the National Guardsmen of grandstanding. But she promises that when the time comes, there will be vigorous debate. But that's democracy. Democracy is messy. That's, I think, the beauty of our system. Everyone can have a seat at the table. But it's got to be done in a way that is actually constructive, and particularly in these times. The city of Chicago's Public Safety Committee set to meet on Monday, but as it stands right now, it's not clear if the National Guard debate will be heard that day. The chairman of the Public Safety Committee says that as of this afternoon, it is not on the agenda. The mayor's office telling us late this afternoon that so far at least, Ben and Lourdes, no one has made a request to mm. have it heard uh, this coming Monday. Okay. Thanks, Julian.